Hey, uh, hi guys. Uh, let me explain about a new concept called the uh, AWS S3 replication, how it works. So here we go. So what we're going to do is, for example, uh, we have a bucket here and there is another bucket here. Okay, so this one we call it a source bucket and this one we call it as a destination bucket. Okay, now the thing is, once you put the source and destination bucket, I'm going to enable the you know, um, static website here and also I'm going to enable the static website here once it is done then obviously you have to put the uh, permissions and I'm going to do the same permissions okay now uh, the concept of replication is whatever files you're putting it here it will automatically getting replicated into your destination bucket here so uh, but there would be a delay, uh, maybe a minute or two. So this is how, I mean, this is a concept how we are going to achieve this, yeah. And uh, I have explained these things in my GitHub. Uh, so if you go to mygithub.com and go to AWS for Beginners and uh, classes here and the uh, module line is three and replication. And uh, so here I have mentioned the list of steps so what we're going I mean it's going to be a high level steps there so so whatever I'm going to follow just you know you can verify these things in my github.com website okay so cool so let's start real quick I'm gonna click on create a bucket <clears throat> so I'm gonna create a source bucket here source bucket at underscore 1984 I'm gonna create it in US East 1 okay and I'm gonna open it to public and uh, you I acknowledge it then uh, scroll down then click on create bucket click on create bucket okay it says okay I'm sorry uh, underscore is an invalid character just hit on iPhone scroll down click on create bucket okay so that bucket source bucket is created and I'm gonna create a destination bucket as well but in the destination bucket I'm gonna create in a different region destination bucket hyphen 1984 and I'm going to create it in for example I'm going to create it in US best one scroll down and block I acknowledge it click on create bucket okay cool now now if you see our source bucket is in US east one and objects can be public and destination bucket is in US west one objects can be public okay now we're going to enable the replication so click on the source bucket and go to management and there's something called replication rules so click on create replication rule and give the replication rule some name i'm going to give it some standard website dr kind of thing and i'm going to making it as enabled and this is the source region okay and i'm going to apply to all the objects in the bucket click on it <coughs> then now i'm going to choose the destination bucket here so browsers three and click on destination bucket 1984 choose path though so, and then you have to enable the bucket versioning in the destination bucket as well that is done and um, you have to create an IAM row click on create new row and that's all click on save say so here you have to enable the bucket versioning for your source bucket as well so click on save Okay, so you just hit on submit, so that's all done. Now what happens is if you go to your bucket here, we do not have any files, and as well as if you go to another window, and go to the destination bucket, here you also do not have any files. So if, you, if you're if you in the source bucket 1984, click on upload, and go to add files. Okay, but before that, just remember, I, I forgot to enable the static website endpoint for source bucket. So click on properties, scroll down, edit, enable. And host the static website. We just gave like this. The next one is HTML. Uh, get given the next HTML. I have only one file here. So just click on save change. Go to destination bucket. Go to properties here. Scroll down, edit, enable. And we're going to give index.html. Uh, same file index or HTML save changes okay so both the buckets have been enabled now click on objects 
Now you have to click on upload, click on add files and replication, go to website, okay, copy these two files here, click on open and click on upload. <coughs> now in the source bucket we have uploaded our files which is good if you see we have two items here one is our index.html and there is a corresponding jpeg jpg file if we go to the destination bucket go to objects we do not have anything but as i said it will take a minute or two for the replication so let's wait for a minute in the meantime if you go to properties of the source bucket go to the static website endpoint okay it says 403 4 bin and error you know why because we forgot to give the bucket permission so i'm gonna edit the bucket policy and uh, i'm gonna give the uh, bucket policy which is there in my github so control a control c and then you can control v so copy the bucket array and paste it here, delete it, control V, save changes, so that is done, go to properties and uh, if you refresh it, that's what you know, now it says, so you're getting an image, okay, now if you go to the destination bucket, if you refresh it, uh, we still didn't get the objects yet, but if you go to properties, uh, okay, we need, to forget, we need to enable the permissions as well here, so let me go to my Bucket policy, control A, control C, okay, control V, and uh, this one I'm copying the bucket ARM, control V, and to save changes. So that is done. I go to properties now, try to access the destination bucket. Still, we did not get anything, it's because the replication is still going on. So let's wait for a minute. Okay, now if you see after two minutes, I got one JPG image and uh, I'm waiting for another file because if you see the source bucket, we have two files here. So let's wait. Okay, now if you see, I, I waited exactly two to three minutes. And I got in my destination US West one. I got this, uh, you know, website up and running. So this is my source bucket endpoint, and this is my destination bucket endpoint. And uh, if you go to my uh, this one, if you refresh it, so you get two files here: index or pyramid or JPG. Now what I'm going to do is for this exercise, I'm clicking on upload, clicking on add files, and uh, if you go to my replication, there is a website two folder. So just <clears throat> just add these two files, click on open, then click on upload. Now if you go to my source bucket here, yes, it would have changed the image, but if you go to the destination bucket, it would take a minimum two to three minutes to come up. So let's wait. Okay, now if you say I got the updated, uh, not, not yet, I'm sorry, I will wait for a minute. Okay guys, so it took me around 5 to 8 minutes for the replication here and if you see the destination bucket and the source bucket, I've got the same image. Yep, so but if you want to make replication so faster, you have to make, I mean you have to pay some extra amount. Um, so that's all about it, uh, about the uh, S3 replication. Yep, so that's all, thank you.